Here we go. Yep. Three, two, one. I'm Todd Sylvester. And I'm Stefan Sylvester. It's funny how much I, I do like tools and stuff. I mean, anything to me that is in that genre. I was at the store the other day and I almost bought this pack of scissors because it was like it's I don't think it was real titanium, wait, 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 but wait, it was wait. called tit titanium scissors. What do you mean a pack of scissors? It was like six different size scissors where in did a you, pack. Where did you see this? It's Sam's. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And, and I, I wanted them. And, I, and mom was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, look at these scissors. Yeah, they're awesome. These are awesome. She goes, put that back. I can tell they're awesome because they, they say they're awesome. And it says titanium. Yeah. It's, it's not like, real titanium. Who cares if it's yeah. actually true or not? They just look awesome. it's titanium. I, 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 Big handles. I understand this on it a can, spiritual level. It can cut through an arm. Whoa, we definitely need it. <laughs> if you want to torture someone. <laughs> it's like, oh my. Okay. Well. <sighs> no, that's in the military aisle. When I was growing up in science class, we learned about the metric system. Okay. And I remember the teacher saying it's so ridiculous. Okay. He was pretty passionate. Yeah, I can I can see it. That we are not using the metric system in the United States. Okay. And he got super excited because on the state highway in Connecticut, on I-84 and on I-95, they were putting in the kilometer markers. And he he mentioned that. And I remember being a, being a kid going, all right. Yeah, like what 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 difference did that make? It was a little number that they put no, no, on no, the no. side of the I, road. I know what a mile marker is. I'm just asking what well, that, those are mile markers. These are kilometer markers. Okay, col whatever. The things yeah. that tell you how far you've gone. Yes. K what was M. what was the big deal? I don't know. He just thought that maybe that was one step in the direction of utilizing the metric system here in the United States. Okay. And he was very much a proponent of that. So my question is, yeah. would the world be a better place if we were using the metric system? So if everyone was using it universally. Yeah. Well, <sighs> I, I can't even tell you the number of YouTube videos I've watched where people do the same thing that your teacher did, which is passionately argue that everyone should be using metric and they don't understand why they're not. Okay. Um, and I've heard a lot of different arguments for and against it. But I, before I tell you what I think, I'm curious to hear what you think. Because we've talked about some of the things that have happened to measurements just generally over right. the years because of the, you know, working with tools right, and having to right. build things and all that. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious to hear your opinion. My opinion is I, I think the ship has sailed for someone like me mm -hmm. because I, I think you have to be raised in it. Yeah. Just like a lot of things so do you think that the world would be better if we just switched over tomorrow and everyone started learning it yes i do okay because it makes a whole lot of sense to do things by tens i mean right. five thousand two hundred and eighty feet is to me just a weird number mm -hmm. and i i but i grew up with miles right so i know what a mile feels like yeah I don't drive along thinking, oh, yeah, 5,280 feet. I'm not thinking that, but I, I, I know that well, I'm going but, 70 but hold on. miles per hour. People who are driving aren't thinking, wow, I'm going you know, however many miles per second. They're working that out in their heads. They're not doing that. No, we are doing how many miles per minute or miles per hour. We are. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm associating that in my mind because yes, I'm, I'm associating time with the distance but you can do that with any distance well but this is what i'm trying to say I, since i grew up with miles i know them and mm -hmm. they're comfortable for me to adjust to kilometers would would take a little bit with okay. me yeah so maybe the ship has sailed for you that's fair but you think your opinion is that the world would be better yes if we switched over to metric. absolutely i i mean to to think about like 128 ounces mm -hmm. that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I, but I know the size of a gallon in my head mm -hmm. about like, oh, yeah, that's a gallon. Yeah. And then I thought maybe we were going in that direction when they had two liter sodas like, oh, OK, now now we're moving into the direction of liters. 
and leaders make sense. Yeah. I mean, cups and ounces for a and serving size. tablespoons. That's, that's why they did that. It's because of the the general size of a liter is closer than a quart or whatever they were trying to sell sell things in a certain size that were liquid. Right. So this is this is my counterpoint because I actually don't think okay. the world would be a better yeah. place if we yeah, switched over metrics. So part of it is the thing that you just mentioned, which is that so much of the world has seen the uh, the English imperial system be the way that people measured things, all kinds of things, for too long now. And because of that, even though there are obvious benefits to everyone using metric, and yeah, there would be some, some things that would have to change, but it's like, ultimately, I think you'd end up with a better system. Practically speaking, it's too late. And because it's too late, trying to force that is the wrong thing to do. Okay. Because I think what would happen... And you don't think that we could just ease into it, like have I, both at the same time? I you don't. You know, like when you go into a store and it has the signs in English and Spanish? How long have you had kilometers and miles per hour on your car speedometer? Oh, as long as I can remember. Yeah. And has that changed anything about the way that you perceive distance? No, I pay no attention to the kilometer numbers right. at all. So I think this is what would happen. Everybody who is still used to using the imperial system would just continue to do it. Right. And everybody who is not used to doing it might be able to switch over. And then you would have this problem immediately. You would have communities of people who are measuring things and not like outwardly necessarily, but they're thinking about, <clears throat> excuse me, volume and distance right. completely differently from one another. Yeah. And so you would end up having crossed wires. Like think about this. How much has a two by four changed in the past hundred years? Oh, 100 years, it's changed vastly. 50 years, not at all. Okay. So <clears throat> 50 years, we've been able to keep it basically the same, right? right? Once everybody arrived at that standard and it was able to be measured accurately by a lot of people. So now we're in, we're in the weeds in terms of things are being measured this way. Everybody's using it in all levels of industry. Yeah, so an eight-foot... Right? distances you're right so a yeah, hundred right. years ago if you wanted to do the thing that you were just talking about it might have been possible mm. but now we are it's too late yeah. so that's that's one side of it and i do agree with what you're saying but i didn't even think about like building stuff yeah it, and it is on and things is, that were built on four foot eight foot and you know, so you'd so be 16 inch and what if yeah. something's already been built to spec in a completely different system of measurement then what do you do Wow. You just get close, but you yeah. can't do exact measurements. And yeah. we're talking about manufacturing. We're talking about, and look, fair enough if the parts are, and this is another thing too. This was the second point that I wanted to make. There are already countries that are using parts that have been made with two different specs that can work together because they know exactly where the breakups are because they mm -hmm. can measure down to that level. So like for example, a robot that builds cars that's using both European parts and Asian parts. No issues. Right. Right? No issues whatsoever. Right. Or something that's using American parts and parts from, you know, Australia, or I guess they use the metrics, whatever. So that, that already happens, and it's not an issue. Or if it is an issue, it's not enough of an issue for people to notice that it's happening. Gotcha. So if that's the case, then... What's the other than the fact that we like the idea of round, even numbers? We like the idea of things that increase by tens in a mm -hmm. way that makes sense. Other than that, what's the purpose of switching over? No, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Because I'm with you that in in theory, metric makes perfect sense. And it makes way more sense than the system that we use currently in the U.S. But <clears throat> I think both the ship has sailed and it doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah. And it's interesting, too, because there are, just as we mentioned, some things that people are comfortable with. A two-liter yeah. bottle of soda. Yeah. And it fits you right know. into American society with no issues. And then nutritional facts done done in, in, grams. in grams. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, eh, people don't really know what that is anyway. So, <laughs> Right. But they have a and kind of an idea. I'm saying this, by the way, as a dumb American. Like, I could be wrong about all this stuff. And if you've had experiences, y'all that are listening, if you've gone to other places and you've seen how it is an issue... Or if your perception has changed because you spent time in places where metric was the standard, then fair enough. Tell us in the comments. But I I don't see a way currently in my life in southern Alabama that it's a problem. Yeah, and you're right. And if we were trying to, let's say, teach your children, I think 
your generation and my generation would would have a really hard time with that. Yeah. Because I'd just I'd, I would always feel ripped off, even if the price was exact in the transition, buying a liter of gas. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, no, no, no. I Wait, want a gallon. I used to get one I that was bigger. I want a bigger. gallon. <laughs> this is a rip off. Rip off. European as we as we drive our electric vehicles around and gas stations don't exist anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <clears throat> things are changing. Things are. I changing. didn't think about the manufacturing. That was a really good point. Thank you. I was thinking about it on the way over here because I was because like four by eight sheets of everything. Well, I was thinking about the car, the engine in my car. Mm. Like it's a it's a Toyota. So is it made with metric? It is. And then when it's assembled. Then what's you know it's assembled here in the U.S. So is everybody working with metric here at the factory? They are or, okay. They and are, then, and it's not that big of a deal because I can use a half inch wrench and mm -hmm. I can use a thirteen millimeter wrench yeah. on the same bolt. Yep, just saying. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. That's funny. Normally I can't like get you on my side about this stuff. No, no, that was a really good point. Really good point. Let us know in the comments how you feel. And, and which, how stupid of Americans we and are. And which one you prefer. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to Potter Familias. We appreciate y'all.